Hi Rachel, my name's Mark Johnson, I'm one of the editors of the journal, and Jerome sent me your paper on time, which I thought was really wonderful, um, and I just wondered if I could talk through some possible improvements to it so that we could include it for the main section in the journal. So what I'd like you to think about is actually asking more questions here, because I think you try and um, answer your question, but actually the topic you're addressing is so big. So you know, maybe in the first paragraph, you're really asking, well, what is time? What is this time that we invest in when we go into education? And that's a very big question. And of course, you know, philosophers and psychologists and physicists and historians and theologians and mathematicians have all been asking this question since, um, well, forever, really, as far as we know, and that people have been thinking about the world. So um, it would be worth making that point so that you don't just present, because at the moment you're just presenting this sort of um, Einsteinian sort of uh, relativistic picture of time. Um, but I think it might be better to, to, um, to just sort of say, well, actually, there, there are deep questions here about educational experience. And um, this is one perspective. So the Einsteinian perspective is one perspective. So at the beginning of your second paragraph, I'm just saying, you know, you might need a bit of uh, qualification. Uh, I mean, St. Augustine, for example, um, had a lot to say about time. Um, so, um, <clears throat> so it, it basically, if you want to talk about Einstein, if you want to talk about um, his particular view, then um, you need to frame it. You need to frame it as and say, well, there are all these different perspectives. What interests me particularly is is the is the sort of change to perhaps Einsteinian um, mechanics and 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 what that tells us about time. I think there's a fundamental question, which is something that was addressed by um, phenomenologists uh, in the sort of uh, late nineteenth century, early twentieth century, which is what's the relationship between time and experience. And um, from a philosophical point of view, the work of um, Henri Bergson, uh, who's a French philosopher, and Martin Heidegger, who wrote a book called um, um, Being and Time, um, both of those are very important. Now, you don't have to discuss that, but you need to at least acknowledge that it exists and then stick with what you're interested in, which is Einstein and physics and so on. <coughs> Now I think there's something, you say something very interesting here about desire and the desire, desired potential. Um, there's, there's quite a lot to say about hope. I mean students have hope. Um, that's why we engage in education. And what's the relationship between our hope and time? Um, again, you can just ask the question. Um, So for each of these paragraphs, it's almost as if there's a question that frames each paragraph. You could rewrite the piece by having a question at the top of each paragraph and saying, well, these are the deep questions that I'm asking myself. This is how I'm thinking. I, th I think there's also a question that you're asking here is, is, is the real, real life and the time of academic study the same? Are, are, is, is the time of real experience and the time which we engage in thought, are they the same thing? And I, th I think also that's a very good question. You've got something to say about that, but just frame it with these bigger questions. The next paragraph down, we've got another question. <clears throat> what do we mean by time management? There's all this sort of management speak about managing time, but what, what actually does that mean? Um, does it have any meaning or is it just a sort of management management speak? I think, um, and I, I, th I think the point you make about habits is very important. You know, what, what, are, what are habits? What is it about uh, the way we organize ourselves and the routines that we get into? How, how, how does that relate to time? So what, what I'm suggesting to you is that you look at this again, but look at it through as, as a series of questions and then your own personal response and your own reflections on um, on what you are thinking at the moment 
with regard to those questions, but acknowledging that there's a huge literature elsewhere um, that relates to this. So I, I think it's a really good piece, <clears throat> and, and I think I'm just going to write what I've just said. There's one other thing, whilst I'm writing that text, there's one other thing that perhaps you can look at. In You do write very well, but there's an interesting thing which also relates to time in a way when we write because when we write we have a vague idea often of what we want to say in a paragraph and so we start to write and we're starting to think well I think I know what this paragraph is about but I'm not sure so I'm exploring in the first few sentences and as I get towards the end of the paragraph I actually work out ah oh, I know what I'm saying here and, and I write down what it is the paragraph is about, and then I move on to the next paragraph. Now, actually, when you read, um, it's actually quite nice if you find out exactly what the paragraph is about right at the beginning. It has much more impact. So I think with your paragraphs, you can actually look at the last sentence you write and just experiment by trying to put that sentence at the beginning or trying to make the point that you make at the end at the beginning. And um, again, frame it around the questions but see if that, that changes the impact of the writing as well. Anyway, Rachel, I think this is really, really great and really exciting exciting piece. I think in, in many ways it's probably the most interesting thing that we've, we've got going into the journal. So I'd be really keen for you to have a think about it and see if you can rework it as a, um, a paper that could go into the main section. Thank you and um, have a good Christmas. Okay, bye-bye.